Hey Libra, welcome to Queen Air Benetero. We're going to do your general love read for the week of November 13th through the 20th. Keep in mind, these are general readings, so they cannot possibly apply to every single person watching. If you would like a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. Also, keep in mind, we do readings on Wednesday, love readings on Wednesday, because we work with the energies of the goddess Venus. The goddess Venus rules over energies regarding love, beauty, finance, and health. So if you need to do any rituals, prayers, meditations regarding those topics... Wednesdays will be the absolute positive day to do so as she can help you with manifestation. As always, we charge both decks with crystal organite pucks and your own personalized astrological sign cards. So again, we're doing a reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus people. As always, in case you're new to the channel, I do two cards. One is a general energy card and one is a possible outcome. And then I clarify both cards. When I meditated before I started your reading, I seen a teddy bear. And it looked like a gift, um, like what you would give a somebody who's getting ready to have a baby or a baby shower gift. And on the teddy bear, I seen a blue like bobby pin. It was like a plastic blue bobby pin. So someone could be just finding out that they're getting ready to have a baby. And I'm feeling like it's a boy. Or you guys are questioning or getting ready to see or find out the gender of the baby. And I feel like it's going to be a boy. So let's see how that ties into your reading, Libra. Keep in mind, yesterday we had a full moon in Taurus, and then the day before that was 11-11. So we have some very powerful energy surrounding us over the past couple of hours. And they are very still, um, very powerful and influential right now, right? Um, I want to also make you guys aware that, you know, starting at 11-11, Whatever energies we're going through right now, those will last coming until the end of this year, right? There's a lot of soulmate love reunions, unions that are coming into fruition. And then I'm picking up that there's a lot of karmic relationships that are ending, okay? So just keep that in mind, okay, with your own relationship. Ace of Cups, Reverse. Some of you guys could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise of Venus. Doesn't have to be. I'm just tossing it out there because of the um, energy. I feel like there is some questioning, definitely. we Like I just said, we just had a full moon yesterday. So there's some questioning regarding emotions tied to a love relationship. And it, it may have been, yeah. I'm hearing that it was illuminated yesterday because you see how this eye is kind of shining this light on this cup. That's the emotions. You're sitting in a puddle of emotions. A lot of you guys may be very emotional today or may have been very emotional yesterday. And like I said, because you have the those moon cycles in the background and we had a full moon yesterday. So yesterday may have been a very big day for you guys emotionally, either for the positive or the negative. Either way, somebody was dealing with a lot of emotions yesterday regarding their current relationship and if it's you and you are pregnant then that could be a part of it you you know you're just very emotional because of hormones okay well too many popped out we've seen at the very top is the emperor and then it came up in reverse but i'm not going to take it because about four other cards up under it popped out we only want one card one card to clarify our ace of cups in reverse one card for our possible outcome Okay. Five of Wands. Okay. So, like I said, something emotion, something happened yesterday that may have triggered you emotionally. You may have had an argument with your partner yesterday, and I feel like because there's five people involved, it may have been long overdue. This argument may have been long overdue. You know, you guys may have been kind of trying to avoid some type of argument and conflict, but it may have, you know, raised to the surface yesterday. I feel I'm picking up strongly yesterday, something yesterday. And always when I part the deck, whatever cards are facing us, if I'm drawn to look at it, I'm going to show it to you guys because those are underlying the energies. You have the queen of cups sitting upright and then your general energy is the ace of cups. So like I said, you guys could possibly be dealing with a water sign. And, you know, it's interesting because you have the five of wands here. And let me turn it upright. And then you have somebody who's in their head about some type of conflict and argument. And like I said, I feel like you and this person, 
I'm gonna hold this down so you guys can see the cards. I feel like you and this person, this, this, you know, this again with this person being in their head and feeling bound. This may have been a conflict that was going on for a while, or meant something that was meant to be addressed for a while, and it may have just come to the surface. Yeah, because look at it again. I parted the deck again and look at it now. The sign is coming up upright. You know, it, and then you have another wine card. So you guys could be dealing with a fire sign also. Leo, Sash, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rise of Venus person. I feel like maybe it's possible that yesterday it finally came to the surface, right? And you guys had to deal with it. And it left you all in your emotions about it. And that's why this is in reverse. And it left you in your emotions about it in a negative way because it makes you feel like, you know, maybe you're questioning the union now. So let's see what we get. Let's get one clarifying card for the Ace of Cups in reverse. One clarifying card for the Ace of Cups in reverse. This doesn't want to go in the deck. Okay. So you got the Eight of Cups. And it came up, right? Mm. <laughs> it's interesting because I'm hearing in my head that somebody's being dramatic. Because, you know, you have the Ace of Cups in reverse and then you have the Eight of Cups upright. <laughs> And it's funny, as, as I say that, I say, I feel like somebody's being dramatic. Look at this moon. This moon is looking like, <sighs> like, I feel like somebody is being dramatic because somebody feels like it's the end of something because of an argument. But I don't feel like that's the case. I feel like somebody is really reading too much into it. Like I said, I feel like it's, it was meant to come to, mm -hmm. Page of Swords. Yeah, I feel like somebody is being dramatic about it. And and kind of being defensive, right? You see how a sword is up in the air. And we know the source is about communication. And with the page, I feel like pages are young and a little immature. And the communication between you and this person may have been very immature and very cutting. And it caused you to feel like, you know, you might need to walk away from this person. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. You have the Ace of Cups in reverse. I'm going to turn it upright so that you can see the imagery. Like I said initially, there was some illumination. There was some conversation that was had, and it made you emotional. That's why it came up in reverse, and I feel like this may have happened yesterday, right? Either yesterday during the full moon or during 11-11, because, again, this is a very powerful energy. This is like the all-seeing eye, right? Cosmic energy. This may have happened between these last two days, right? And you feel like it caused you to be very emotional. And I know that because your possible outcome is the five of wands. The five of wands is about conflict, argument, confrontation. And that's what caused this cups card to be in reverse, your ace of cups to be in reverse. Because even though it's in reverse, it's still an ace of cups. The ace of cups is um upright. We know it's positive love emotion energy you know but in reverse is negative somebody is feeling negative about it and we see that in your clarifying card the eight of cups you know this argument caused you to feel like you want to walk away like it may have been that bad or you feel like it was that bad that you want to walk away but like i said your clarifying card for your five of wands is the page of swords again the page of swords is to me, what I'm picking up is immature. Somebody who spoke and was just very brash and very harsh and was very immature. And that's why I laughed because I'm like, you're ready to walk away. And look at this. This moon is like, oh, I'm not impressed. Like, come on, calm down. Because this is somebody who spoke very prematurely. Very immature. And I'm getting that this person wanted to get a rise out of you. And I'm getting that because of the imagery. You see how... Like this metal, this land up under this person is like rolling with emotions. And then in the background, this looks to be mountains, but it could be like crashing waves. And if it's waves and it's water, right, that's emotions, right? You got two cup cards already. And then I'm hearing in my head, I don't want no smoke. <laughs> we know these are clouds, but it's like, I don't want no smoke. So I'm just going to walk away. I don't want this conflict. I don't want to smoke. I'm going to walk away. But I feel like this is this is very premature. This is very, like I said, immature. This is very premature for you to just walk away from this situation. Because like I said, especially if you're a Libra who is pregnant or your partner is pregnant, this person is just very emotional, period. They're emotional. 
and they're going through some type of hormonal, emotional things. So you need to be mindful about how you speak to this person. Or this person needs to be mindful about how they speak to you. Because somebody's thinking about walking away. But I don't feel like, I'm not feeling like it's necessary. Okay. And even with this five of wands, I don't pick up that this is something like, I don't know. I just don't feel like this is something very strong. Intuitively, I'm not picking up that this is something strong. Because even though everyone has their wands drawn, nobody's actually making contact. Nobody's actually hitting each other. You get what I'm saying? Like nobody's actually making no wand is touching another person. Everybody's just being defensive. Everybody has their guards up. And I feel like if you walk away from this, it's it's going to be ridiculous. It's, I feel like it's going to be ridiculous. You know, you need to get yourself the next couple of hours. And I mentioned the full moon because, again, if you're an energy sensitive person, three days before, during and after the full moon, you're going to feel those energies. We just had the full moon yesterday. So you got another 48 hours, you know. To kind of deal with those energies and let them subside and calm down. I feel like you're needing to um, just be paid. Chill out, okay? I don't feel like you need to walk away. And it's interesting because, you know, even though this car doesn't have movement, I feel like this person is moving slowly away. And like I said, we just had this full moon yesterday, right? And then you see like there's a shadow moon behind it. I feel like, you know, this full moon, and that's why this, this moon is making his face is looking kind of somber, like <laughs> unimpressed with this confrontation. Because it's not meant for you to walk away from this situation. If you need to walk away to get a breather, fine. But I don't feel like this is long term. This definitely happened over the past couple days. Like I said, the fact that we're I'm being drawn to that full moon. This and then you have moon energy, moon cycle energy here. This happened possibly yesterday. Or the day before, like I said, during that 11-11 portal. Okay? So Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, thank you for watching. Until next time, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Take care. Bye.